Good morning. Here uh, in this video lecture, I have come with a solution of differential equation. This is the given differential equation. By dx is equal to tan square x plus y. So, what is the problem in the solution of this? Problem is that here tan square x plus y is there. And to integrate this or to solve the given equation, we need to separate the variables x and y. But in this form, separation of the variables is not possible. Okay. So to separate these variables x and y, what we need to do is to make proper substitution. Here for the given problem, the proper substitution is if we assume that x plus y is equal to another variable, say z, then the given variables can be separated and then you can integrate to solve the given problem. Okay. So here, let x plus y is equal to z and you now differentiate both sides of this with respect to x. So for the first term, we are getting 1. For the second term, we are getting dy dx. Means what? We are differentiating both sides of this with respect to x. So d dx of x is 1, d dx of y is dy dx, and d dx of z is nothing but dz dx. So here we are getting dz dx. This simple substitution uh, will help you to solve the given problem. So what is dy dx? From here we are getting dy dx. This is equal to dz dx minus 1. Right? So now, this is the given problem. So for, from this problem we are getting what? dy dx, you will replace this dy dx by dz dx minus 1. So dz dx dz dx minus 1 is equal to the right hand side which is equal to tan square z because x plus y is equal to z. Right? So, in the next line, we are getting what? We are getting dz dx is equal to tan square z plus 1. Right? So, again, the next line is dz dx. What is the result? 1 plus tan square z is nothing but sec square z. This is known to you. Right? And uh, next line, I am showing here. So next line is uh, dz by z square z is equal to dx. Means dx is equal to dz by z square z which is equal to cos square z dz. Right. Cos square z dz. So now you integrate both sides of this. Okay. Cos square z dz plus a constant of integration C because you are integrating. So in the left hand side what we are getting is x and in the right hand side you write this way half integration of 2 cos square z dz plus this constant of integration C. Okay. Uh, let me raise the right hand side portion. It will be better to show the rest of the solution here. Okay. Okay, and now it's clear. So, next to this line is, I'm writing here. So, here, left hand side is x. Okay. Left hand side is x. Right hand side, this is equal to half. Okay, this is x. x. Okay. x. This is x. Half. And this is called 2 cos square z dz. Okay. So this is equal to what? This is equal to 1 plus cos 2z. 1 plus cos 2z. Just a minute. Give me just one minute of time. Okay. The board is wet. That's why there is problem in writing on the board. Uh, <coughs> okay. Now it's possible to write here. Okay. The left hand side is x. The right hand side is uh, half is there, then integration sign, then it is 
वन प्लस कॉस टू जेड डी जेड प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट विद इक्वेशन सी अगेन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड रिमेंस आर सेम ओके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड रिमेंस आर सेम एंड हियर ऑन इंटीग्रेशन व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग फॉर वन यू विल गेट जेड सो हाफ फॉर वन यू आर गेटिंग जेड एंड फॉर कॉस टू जेड यू आर गेटिंग हाफ ऑफ साइन टू जेड प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट विद इक्वेशन सी Now you just put the expression for z, which is equal to x plus y. So x is equal to not x. This two is there. So write that two in the left hand side. So it becomes two x. And here it becomes z means x plus y. And therefore so this half is there. So half sine two into x plus y. And since we have multiplied both sides of this by two, so this becomes two c. Okay, so instead of writing two c, you just simply write c one, where c one is equal to I'm writing here, uh, c one is equal to nothing but two c, right? C one is equal to two c, means another constant. Okay, now uh, now what? Now again, you multiply both sides by these two. Then you are getting 4x in the left hand side. Here you are getting 2x. Here 2y, and uh, here sine 2 into x plus y plus 2c1 is equal to another constant. Okay, c2 is equal to 2c1, right? So now the problem is solved. So sine of you can write this way also sine 2. X plus y means this term. This is equal to 4x minus 2x. That is 2x minus 2y. So 2 into x minus y. Okay. This way I am writing plus c3, where c3 is equal to nothing but minus c2. Okay. Am I right or wrong? Sine 2x plus y. This minus this. Minus c two, okay, right. Minus c two, and minus c two has been replaced by plus c three. So this is the answer to the given problem. Okay. So you can see that solution was so easy to solve the problem. Uh, to solve the given problem, one substitution was required, and the substitution was so easy. Just uh, we have assumed x plus y is equal to z, and then the simple procedure we have adopted, and you can see that solution was so really very easy. the problem is not lengthy at all okay okay this is the end of this lecture uh in the next video we will get uh, more solutions from this chapter and many other things anyway thank you for watching this video have a nice day